Okie dokie, here we go. We'll do our thing. Everyone can hear me, give me a thumbs up. The volume good? Great, fabulous. So just do what you can today. Um, the weather here in New Jersey keeps getting sunny and then rainy, so we're just gonna kinda lift our mood and move ourselves. We're gonna start on our backs. Have your feet the width of the mat. Your feet the width of the mat and then your knees knock in. So it's kind of the opposite of Supta Baddha Konasana. So you'll lay on your mat with your feet the width of your mat. I'm gonna bring my block next to me so I have it. And then the knees knock in, you create a little mountain for yourself. Make sure my camera's set up okay. Good. And just have the palms facing open, feel your feet on the floor, but more importantly, feel your lower back resting on the mat. So if you're just entering the room, the yoga room, make sure that you have yourself on mute. You can close your eyes or you can not close your eyes and you don't feel like you're that grounded. Just pick a spot on the ceiling, take a deep breath in through your nose and scream out loud if that's what you need or a loud exhale breath just to let it go. And one more full breath in. Exhale everything out. Just let your low back, most importantly, drop down. Seal your lips, begin your breath, ujjayi breathing, filling the air through the back of your throat. Feel your feet on the floor. And you just do your best with this type of breathing. It takes a very long time to get used to it. Take your feet fat, flat to the floor. If you do have the block, place it the long direction in between your thighs. The arms are going to reach forward, just like you're pulling yourself up into a little mini, uh, a little mini um, boat navasana with your feet down. So just feel that. Your neck stays nice and long. And if this is too much, you can always just stay with this. this is a good place to modify for today. Legs are going to lift up on an angle. Now, if legs on an angle doesn't feel good, your legs can go straight up towards the sky. My lower back is still down. My neck is long. My arms are reaching forward. I'm holding. Use the block to really squeeze the inner thighs together. This is going to create that core engagement. Take your feet back down to the floor. Lift yourself up a little higher. Squeeze the block. Exhale the breath. Let it go, but don't let the block go. Again, pull yourself up. A few like this, then we'll add on. Lift your legs on an angle, some shape that works for you. Take your feet back down. Lift a little higher. Pull yourself up. Exhale the breath. Let it go. Pull yourself up again. Lift your legs up at an angle. Take your feet back down to the floor, lift higher. Exhale the breath, let it go. Pull yourself up. Lift your legs on an angle. Scissor the inner thighs together, start to lower the heels. If you can get them to tap, that's great. If not, just halfway or an inch, bring them back up. Bend your legs, take your feet to the floor, squeeze the block, lift a little higher. Exhale the breath, let it go. Keep going. Pull yourself up, feel your lower back down, lift your legs on an angle. You can always stay, lower just a little or lower all the way, heels will tap. Keep reaching your arms forward, lift the legs back up, bend your knees, take your feet flat to the floor, lift higher, exhale the breath, let it go. One more, pull yourself up, lift your legs on an angle, lower your heels, let them tap. Pull your legs back up, squeeze the block, bend your knees, lift higher, Exhale the breath, let it go. Bring your knees to a tabletop position. You can keep the block here if it's comfortable for you or you can ditch it. Hands are gonna wrap behind the head. My feet are gonna flex. I'm keeping my knees and my shins all in one line. Elbows are gonna wrap up. Try not to crunch your neck, just pull yourself up. Now, legs can stay. Elbows are gonna go out or legs can go forward. Again, hug in. The best that you can, extend out. If it's too much for lower back, legs can go straight up towards the sky. Hug in, exhale, extend out, flex your feet, squeeze the block, hug in, extend out, more feeling, hug in, extend out, again, hug in, extend out, flex your feet, one more, hug in, extend out, hug in, remove that block, put it to the side, give your knees a squeeze. Rock and roll a few times. Come up here. Take your feet flat to the floor. 
reach your arms straight up towards the sky. Guys, essentially, this is boat navasana. So if you're ever in a class and they're doing a lot of boat poses and your lower back doesn't feel great, this is your pose. Feel your lower belly draw in, but feel the anchor of your feet. Lift the side of your body up and then look up a little. Hold. Draw the navel in. Press more into the ground. Take another big breath in. Float your feet up if you can. My legs are not going to go straight. I'm going to keep my legs bent and draw the thighs towards the navel. Lift up a little more. If you're taking it in your lower back. It doesn't feel good. Bring your feet back down. Lift up a little higher. Cross your ankles. Place your hands to the floor. Step to a down dog. Hands spread wide across the mat. Take a couple breaths here in the downward facing dog. Rearrange it. Work it out, as I like to say. Work it out. Lift your hips up off your shoulders. Feel your outer arms plug in. Feel your hips lift up off your shoulders. Yes. And then breathe into the back side of your body. Feel your hips lifting. Feel your legs engaging. Feel your arms spreading. And just look at your hands and make sure that your hands are forward enough, that your elbow, uh, your creases of the wrist are forward, your index fingers are forward. Bend behind the knees as much as you need. Let your head go. Let your jaw go. And feel your outer arms press into the mat. Yeah. Roll forward to plank, stack your body. Now, down dog to plank, you should all align yourself. But for the first one, sometimes we need to walk it out. So you wanna make sure your shoulders are stacked over your elbows, your elbows over your wrist, your dristy, your gaze is forward. And know the modification, I'm big on it, knees can drop at any given point. Firm up the sides of your body, bring your gaze forward. Broaden across the upper shoulders, feel the ground, feel your core. It should be nice and fiery here. Bring more weight forward. Good, everybody drop your knees, untuck your, uh, your toes. From your knees to the tops of your feet, plug your shins into the mat, bend your elbows halfway, chaturanga. Pause, neck is long. Anchor, spread your palms. Restraighten your arms with your knees to your shins on the floor, tops of the feet even press. Bend your elbows, supported chaturanga. Draw the navel in, re-straighten your arms, supported plank. Bend your elbows, supported chaturanga. Your gaze just is a tad forward. Re-straighten your arms, supported plank. Bend your elbows, chaturanga with your knees down, please. Straighten your arms, supported plank. One more. Bend your elbows, supported chaturanga. If you have it in, you lift your kneecaps, chaturanga dandasana, draw the belly in, plank position. Downward facing dog, hips press back. Look in between your hands for me. Step your right foot smack in between your hands. Just smack in between your hands. Turn your back foot onto its side. Move your block with you. Just have it by the outside of the foot if you're gonna use it. Circle open, warrior two. Warrior two, it's a big step. Warrior two. Now, look at your back foot and make sure it's turned in just a tiny bit for me. Right thigh is really engaged and the inner thigh rotates open. You can even use your hand to encourage that to happen. Stretch your arms wide. Bring your arms straight up towards the sky. Grab onto opposite elbows. Yeah. Plug your feet into the mat. Drop your tailbone down and feel the sides of your body lift you. Now, if you've got something going on in your shoulder and this isn't for you, you just ditch it. Close your eyes. Feel your breath move through your body and embrace the feeling of holding warrior two just like this. Reach your arms straight up. They're shoulder width distance apart right now. Palms face one another. Let your arms fall to the ground so they're just parallel to the earth. Broaden across your arms and chest. Pause. Try not to tuck your tailbone, lengthen. Feel your feet on the floor sit a little deeper. Begin to move your upper body. Your arm can just simply rest on the top of your thigh for a modified expression of this. This is modified extended side angle. This is a cool place to be today. If you want more out of it, it's up to you. Lock to the outside of your foot. Arm can reach up and forward.
from your elbow to your fingertip, straighten your arm. And if you stop breathing and you're holding your breath because you think time's gonna move faster, come back to it. Twist the belly, twist the ribs. Look off the armpit up towards the sky if you can. If your arm needs to just be straight up towards the sky, great option. Where can you get lighter? Grip your right glute behind you, turn up your ribs. Yeah, turn your belly towards the sky. Now press through the outer blade of your left foot. Take a few more breaths. Good, gaze to the floor, both hands are gonna come down. Peel the left heel, you're in a low lunge. Just scoot your right foot over to the right. It needs a wider step. Your feet are about hips width distance. Come to your fingertips. You can always drop your back knee. Swing your right hip back, activate your back leg. Pause right here, good. Arms are just gonna reach forward. You're gonna hover, we're not coming up. We're just hovering, hover. Keep your gaze down, back knee can drop if you need to. Left hand's gonna come to the floor, right arm will peel open. Great place to use a block or a pillow to just bring your hand up a little, stack the two shoulders on top of one another. Feel your right foot press more into the ground, activate your left leg a little bit more. Your right arm feels stuck, just have your hand on your lower back on the flat part of your back. So many options. There's not just one way to do these poses. There's so many ways. We just make sure our alignment is set. Twist where your ribs are. Good, look to the ground. Place both hands down on the floor. Frame out your right foot. Hug your right knee to your navel. Your hands are firm. Your arms are firm. Your right knee's towards your navel. navel. Slide your right foot back, but don't let it touch the ground. Flex the foot. Take your right knee towards your right tricep. Don't let it touch, just bring it to that direction. Slide the right leg back, flex the foot. Don't let the foot touch. Take your right knee across. Don't get caught up on how deep it's going, just a little. Extend it back, three-legged plank. Lower the right foot, gaze goes forward, bend your elbows, chaturanga, drop your knees if you need to. Up dog, pull your chest through. Never thought you'd be so happy in an up dog. Downward facing dog, hips press back. Step the left foot smack in between the, uh, the, the hands. Bring your block if you know you need it. Turn the back foot onto its side. Heart will open, warrior two. Pretty big step, back foot turns in enough, fiery right thigh, arms reach across your body. Turn up the inner part of your thigh so it's your real estate, it's your body. Bring your arms straight up. Grab opposite elbow. If you can remember which one you did, most of us probably don't. Go ahead and take a different grip. Your best guess. And then breathe into the sides of your body and explore the opening of your hips. Let your tailbone drop. Feel your feet, they've got you here. Secure on the floor. Your gaze is forward or your eyes can drift close. A few breaths. Try not to hold on, try to allow your body just to escape to the next breath and drop a little deeper. Draw the lower and ribs in. Stretch the arms up, the hands are shoulder width distance and the palms face one another. Drop the arms completely down so they're parallel to the earth. Spread the arms wide. Keep the shape of the lower half of the body. Make sure you're not gripping, you're just strong. Begin to move, modified extended side angle, or hand to the outside of the foot, it's up to you. Right arm can reach up. Grip your left glute underneath you, turn up your ribs, bring your gaze up, maybe your arm comes forward, but not in front of your face, alongside your ear. Press firmly into your right leg. Keep turning up the inner part of the thigh. The outside of your left leg presses against the inside of your left arm. It's like a magnet. More breath, you'll start to sweat as you breathe into this deep pose, this deep hip opener, two more. If the arm is forward, maybe you wanna bring it up, that's fine. Look to the ground, peel both hands down. Move your block to the side, scooch your left foot over, grip your left hip behind you so you're in this low lunge. 
Firm up the inner and outer thighs, then begin to reach your arms just forward. Your gaze goes forward. Steer your left hip back. You've got a strong sensation. Most of you probably feel in your legs right now. Draw the navel in so you're not dumping into your lower back. Sit deeper into your left foot. Right hand comes down, left arm opens, easy twist. Block underneath your hand is great. Keep steering your left hip back. Twist only where there's ribs. Left hand can always just float to the flat part of your back if it's too much. Another big breath. Stay with it. Look down. Both hands come to the floor. Pause. Hug your left knee in. You're in plank with your left knee in. Slide it back. Flex the foot. Let's see if you can let that foot hover the mat. Good. And then bring your left knee to the outside of your left tricep somewhere there. Extend it back, three-legged plank, flex the foot. Take your left knee across your body. Mm -hmm. Extend it back. Lower the left foot, bend your elbows, chaturanga. Pull yourself through an up dog, point your toes. Take a downward facing dog, hips press back. Step your right foot forward, high lunge. High lunge, know you can drop your back knee if you need to, high lunge. More breath, more feeling. Everyone looks so excited. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you can smile in fun, funny ways. You know, you can tell if someone's smiling behind their mask. Yeah, you totally can now. This is a whole new world we're entering. Bring your hands down to frame your front foot. Step back, plank. Chaturanga Dandasana, or just skip it if you're like, eh, I'm not into it right now. Up dog. Downward facing dog, slide your left foot forward, high on the ball of your back foot. Come up high lunge. Feel your feet, feel your inner and outer thighs working. And your arms lift like they did in that warrior two with the arms straight up. Scissor the legs together, feel your feet on the floor. Place the hands down. This time, scoot your left foot to the center of your mat, spring your right foot forward. Come to the fingertips, long spine. If your lower back is sensitive, please take this with hips distance. Forward fold over the legs. Sit into a chair pose, weight in your heels. Weight in your heels. You just gotta go right for it some days. Lift the chest. If stretching the arms up in this direction feels crummy, reach the arms back and just keep them by the side body like a swimmer's pose. Drop down into your seat though. Feel the weight in your heels so your shins can slide back. Bring your eyes forward, fix them on something that's not moving. Feel the weight in your he heels, press all the way up to a standing position, drag your hands to prayer, drop your arms. Stretch the arms back up, lower your seat chair. Dive over bent knees, forward fold. Come to the fingertips, long spine, plant your palms, two big steps or a light chaturanga, it's up to you. Up dog, slides you through. Downward facing, Dog, right foot forward, high on the ball of your back foot. High lunge, take your time. So you pick up the pace, but you don't get sloppy. Hands come down, plank position, move with control. Bend your elbows if you're taking chaturanga. Upward facing, tops of the feet press into the mat. Downward facing, left foot forward. Integrate the legs, then come up. Hands come down. You are immediately in that plank. Step that foot back, bend your elbows, chaturanga. Up dog, point your toes. Downward facing dog, hips press back. Deep breath in, deep breath out, leave it behind. Feel your hands plug into the mat, let your head go. Just take a couple cycles of breath, get yourself together. And then feel the ground, look where you want to land. You can step, you can float, top of towel. Long spine weight is forward into the fronts of the feet. Fold over the legs. Sit into chair, weight in your heels. Press all the way up to a standing position. Draw your hands to prayer, drop your arms. You reset, stretch the arms up, reach big. Lower your seat, sit chair. Dive over bent knees, forward fold. Come to the fingertips, long time. spine. This is a setup, plant your palms. Two big steps to a plank or light chaturanga. Upward facing, pulls you through. Downward facing, presses you back. Right foot forward, high on the ball of your back foot, high lunge. 
Hands come down, plank position. Chaturanga, upward facing point, downward facing back, left foot forward. Just keep it moving the best that you can. You can be a little slower, you can be a little faster, it's okay. Hands come down, plank, chaturanga, upward facing point, downward facing back. Deep breath in, deep breath out. We're gonna do one more. Press into your hands, look where you wanna go. Float, step, however you get there. Long spine on the inhale breath when you arrive. Fold over your legs, sit again into a chair. Weight in your heels. Should be getting a little warmer. Shoot up to stand, draw your hands to prayer. Drop your arms, stretch them up big, sit again into a chair. Dive over bent knees, forward fold. Come to the fingertips, long spine, plant your palms. Two big steps or a light chaturanga, up dog. Downward facing dog, right foot forward, high on the ball of your back foot, high lunge. So it's peppy, it's energetic, we're alive, we feel good. Hands to the floor, plank position. Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing. Downward facing, stay with it, left foot forward. High lunge. Hands come down, plank. Lower halfway, Chaturanga. Upward facing point. Downward facing back. Bring your feet together. Zip up your legs so your, your feet touch. Look forward, lean onto your left hand. Vashisthasana side plank, really basic. Drop your bottom knee if you need to. Good. Spark up your toes. Lift your ribs. Stack the arms on top of one another. Maybe even look up. But really firm up that bottom arm and that bottom hip. Lift a little higher. Good. Look down. Right hand comes down. You're back in plank. So exciting. Hug your right knee to your navel, and then step your right foot forward and through. Turn your back foot onto its side for a warrior one. Steer the right hip back and come on up. So your left ribs turn forward, your left thigh bone can move with you. Your arms reach big. Your arms will now drop by your side body like this. Clasp your hands behind your back. If you have a shoulder injury, take a bend in your elbows. Even if you don't have a shoulder injury, this can be helpful. Steer the right hip back, bend into the right thigh, and begin to come forward into Humble Warrior. Now, this version of Humble Warrior, a little bit more traditional, but we want to make sure that our hips stay in Warrior 1. They don't go to Warrior 2. So your hips are relatively squared off to the front of the mat. Your right hip zips up underneath you, and your left thigh and your left foot are pressing firmly into the mat, and your head can drop if you're more flexible. Your right shoulder isn't getting in there. Don't worry about it. Steer the right hip back a little more. Feel the weight in your right heel. Keep the side of your body long and draw your belly in. Now anchor your feet. Be begin to bring yourself up. Keep your hands bound. Keep them bound if you can. Straighten your right leg. Now in order to find this, I have to step my left foot in about an inch or two. Turn the ribs back forward over your right thigh and then begin to fold. This is Parsvottanasana, and I'm keeping the clasped hands if available. If it isn't, slide the hands onto the floor right next to your right foot or onto blocks or something to bring the hands up a little. Steer the right hip up and back. Feel the left leg stay really strong. Let the head go. And personally, my right leg has a nice little bend in it, and I feel this in the meaty part of the hamstring. If you fill it up by your tush, you're in trouble. So bend more and do a little less. Good, take another big breath in. You're gonna just come up halfway, look forward, split the hands apart, take them to the floor and just step to a down dog. Just step back, downward facing dog. Yeah, if you feel you need to roll forward to take a plank and move through a vinyasa, that's up to you. Upward facing may feel good. Downward facing back. Then I get to my down dog, my feet come back together, zip up the legs, look forward, lean onto the right hand, side plank on this side. Remember your modifications. Your bottom knee can drop, and you can take this with a lot of extra support. Good. 
spark up your toes, stack your arms, grip the bottom hip underneath you. Good, stay for another breath or two. Even if you fall out, it's okay. Look to the floor, left hand down, plank position, hug your left knee to your navel, pause. Keep looking forward, guys, keep looking forward. Land your left foot forward, turn your back right foot onto its side, steer your left hip back, integrate your legs, and then come up warrior one. Your feet are about hips width distance apart in width and pretty long in the length. Right thigh should be able to turn forward and your right ribs move. Drop your arms by your side body, interlace the grip, opposite grip if you can remember, Inhale the breath, lift the chest, exhale, come forward. Now as you come forward, I'm really working on steering my left hip back and moving the right side of my body forward and getting less caught up on how flexible I need to be in this posture. It's really irrelevant. Feel the feet on the floor and just breathe. Everyone's bodies are different. Feel the left heel press, feel the outer blade of your back right foot. Really use that to grow the pose. Let the head just go. Grip the hips in, anchor the feet. Start to pull yourself back up. If you kind of keep the bind, give it a try. Straighten the left leg on track. Scoot your right foot in about an inch or two. Turn the ribs forward. With those bound hands, inhale the breath. Exhale, come forward. And if you need to ditch the bind, just ditch it. Place the hands down, steer the left hip up and back, anchor the feet, and see if you can take those clasped hands further towards the crown of your head, towards the floor. If your shoulder, wrist, or anything, elbow is aggravated, just omit it. Breathe into the hamstrings, breathe into the back side of the body. Enjoy it if possible, if it can be enjoyable. Come up halfway, pause. Let the hands, if they're clasped, split apart and then just take them to the floor. Plant the palms and step to a downward facing dog. Feel that. Roll forward to plank. Bend your elbows for your chaturanga. Pull the chest through if you're going into the up dog. Tops of the feet ideally press into the mat and fire up the thighs so they're lifted. Lifting your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Look to the top of the towel. You can step, float, fly, you can crawl. Long spine when you arrive, forward fold, exhale. Sit into a chair pose just for a breath or two. Inner thighs are zipped up, weight is in your heels. Shoot up to stand, draw your hands to prayer. Okay, do the best that you can with the next couple poses. Standing on your left leg, the right leg bends in half. Grabbing the front of the right knee could be a place to stay for today. If it's available to hook the big toe, peace sign grip, left hand on hip. Be here. This is a good place to, uh, to, to pause too. The foot should easily come to you. If you're able to extend your right leg forward, give it a whirl, but you're not kicking from your lower back. You're kicking from what your hamstring has for today. Stretch your left arm up. Right shoulder draws back, left foot, left thigh, left waist and left arm and hand extend up. This can be done with your right knee bent in half, your hand below your kneecap, and just a modified variation. Still very challenging. Lift a little higher. Stay with it. Flex the right foot more. Feel the ground more, it's got you. Stretch up a little bit more. So you're gonna keep the lift of your right leg or the leg can bend in half to a 90 degree angle, but both arms are gonna float up shoulder width distance. Good, with the leg lifted, my arms are gonna drop. I'm gonna interlace my hands behind my back. The right leg can bend in half. I'm gonna float it back through a warrior three. So if you have a block, you're welcome to use it if your balance kind of gets you out of this. Warrior three with my back leg not turning open. My hands can stay clasped. If it's too much, they can always go to the floor onto a block right underneath the shoulders. Good, the pelvis is neutral, the side of the body is long, and I'm sparking up my right foot a lot. Flex it. Now, the next part is tricky. If you can keep the right leg straight, give it a whirl. If not, do this with a bent knee. Right leg, like a pendulum, is gonna slide forward, not touching the floor. I'm lifting up from my thigh bone, from my core. 
Clasp hands, then reach up. Lift up a little higher. Right leg bends in half. Keep the arms up. Lower the right foot down. Sit in chair. Drag your hands to prayer. Inhale your breath. Keep breathing. Hook the elbow and twist. Now when you twist, remember, you're not twisting with your low back. Keep your feet grounded, weight in your heels, and only twist where you have a little rib. Open up your arms if you want more. Or stay. I have a love-hate relationship with this pose. So sit a little deeper. It's like if you didn't do it in the flow, you'd miss it. If you do it and you're in it, all sorts of things you're, are thinking, you're thinking about in your head. Sit a little deeper. Feel the weight in your heels. Keep the shape of your legs. Pull around to chair. Should feel something, guys. Sit a little deeper. Shoot up to stand. Draw your hands to prayer. Let your arms go. Stand on your right leg. Woohoo! Bend your left leg in half. Let's check in with the side of the body. Grab below the kneecap that this is what you can do or hook the big toe. Right hand moves to hip. The toe should come easily to you, shouldn't be reaching forward and bending over. That's how we hurt ourselves. Extend the left leg forward. Draw the left shoulder back into its socket, then reach your right arm up. Fix your eyes on something that's not moving. If you know you are more bendy in your lower back, draw your navel in. Get out of your lower back, don't open the leg. Grow the pose from the right side of the body, reach up more. Ujjayi breath. Keeping the leg out in this position or bending it in half, arm will reach up. Both arms up, leg up. With my leg staying up, drop my arms, interlace the hands behind my back. Begin to float the left leg back very, very slowly. Warrior three. Don't open your hips. Soften the right leg a little. Lift your chest. You can always slide blocks underneath one or both hands. Your gaze goes forward. Lift up from your inner thigh. Feel your right foot on the floor. Your chest is a little higher than everything else, like a little up dog. Keeping the left leg strong, if possible, give it a try. Like a pendulum, slide the left leg forward. Lift it up from your inner thigh. Reach your arms up. Lift that leg up. Then bend the leg in half. Everybody lower their feet to the floor. Sit back, chair pose. Hands to prayer. Happy smiling faces. Hook the elbow and twist. Good. Press the palms. The weight goes back in the heels. The shins drag back. And just checking in that your knees are lining up. Open up those arms. If you did it on the right, you have to do it here. This is your time. Nice, Nancy. Looking good, guys. Sit a little deeper. Keep the shape of the legs. Stay with it, pull around to chair. Pull deep into a chair, lift your hips, inner thighs tight, weight in your heels, sit a little deeper, bend over the legs, forward fold. Keeping your feet together, plant your palms. Split your knees apart for crow pose. This is the perfect time for crow. If you're not into crow, separate your feet to the width of the mat, come down into squat malasana. If you're going into crow, you can go crow into headstand, headstand back. You can do a jump back. Just make sure there's nothing sharp in the way. If you're just in a nice squat pose, malasana, outer arms, press inner thighs open, feet are grounded on the floor. You can always slide a block underneath your tailbone. If you're going into crow, keep your feet together, knees high up in the upper armpits. Your drishti goes forward. Hug in. If the feet are apart, it's hard to find the pose. Bend your elbows. Feel the weight in your hands. You can step or float, chaturanga. However you get there today, it's fine. Move through your up dog. Slide your chest through. Take a downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward, high lunge. Keep it moving. Hands come to prayer. Inhale that breath. Hook the elbow and twist. Modification here, back knee drops. Just drop the back knee. Not a big deal. Scissor the thighs together. Twist only where you have a rib. Steer the right hip back. If you want more, open up your arms. Feel the weight in your right heel. Grip your left thigh and hip. 
and glute. Tighten it up. And then lean back just a little bit so the crown of your head is actually in line with your back left heel. Stay with it. Another couple breaths. As you leave the meditation, come back to us. Look to the floor, place both hands down, pause. Don't get ahead of yourself. If you have a block or a pillow, it's gonna come out underneath your left shoulder, about six, 10 inches. If you cannot um, do, take a twisting triangle, you're gonna take two blocks and float, amended warrior three, okay? If you have steps or a wall near you, you can do amended warrior three. Revolved Ardhan Chandrasana for everybody else. Left hand is down, right hand is on the flat part of your back. Lift your inner thigh up. Yeah, flex the foot, don't open the hips. If you have it in you to take your right arm up, stack the two shoulders. Twist the ribs, keep the waist long, keep lifting your inner thigh. Look right, look up. If you're just in the amended warrior three, just look down, look to the floor. Take another big breath, twist open. Right hand comes down, about a three foot step back with your left foot, hand slide to your hips, steer your hips back, anchor your feet and come up. Not over, it's not over yet. Right hand on your hip, left arm extends up, twisting triangle, steer the hips back. If you don't have a block, your left hand can place in the upper part of your right shin. Right hand on the flat part of your back, just be here. Block, great, hand on it. Bring the floor up to you. Steer the hips, stack the shoulders, just a few breaths. Feel the back foot press, lift the waist. Don't give up now. Enjoy the sensation. Nothing lasts forever. Look to the floor, take both hands down. Step back, plank position. Move that stale energy, chaturanga. Upward facing, make it feel good. Downward facing dog. Okay, left foot forward, high lunge. What happens on the right has to happen on the left. Otherwise, we'll be lopsided. Sit into the thigh bone, not into the joint of the knee. It's really important. Hands to prayer. Inhale that breath. Hook the elbow and twist. Drop the back knee if you need to. Just make sure the kneecap isn't grinding into the mat. Steer the left hip back. Draw the belly in and get in there. Open up your arms if you want a little bit more. Looking really, really good. Natalie, lift your chest up. You're like, shit, she just saw me. Yeah, lift your chest up and twist only where there's a rib. You're like, I hope she doesn't see me and call my name. Yeah, this, I can be on hitting camera. Two more breaths. Okay, guys, look to the floor, place both hands down, pause. Don't be in a rush. So some of you are gonna move to the amended warrior three. Others are gonna float right to revolved Arda block underneath your right hand. Slide the block your, um, underneath the hand so it's stacked underneath the shoulder. Left hand comes to the flat part of the back. Lift the inner thigh up. You can stay here. If you're moving on, left arm extends up, we get to twist a little deeper. Now what happens for most of us is the right leg gets lazy and tired. So lift from your inner thigh, flex your foot more, and see if you can stack your two arms. Another big breath in. Look to the floor, left hand down, about a three foot step back with your right foot. Walk your left foot to the left a little, so it's hips width, hands to your hips, pull yourself up. Feel your feet, get them set up about three feet foot distance apart. Left hand on your hip, right arm reaches big. Come forward, twisting triangle. Hand on the upper shin if you have no block. Keep it up a little higher. Feel your feet, feel your inner and outer thighs working together. Steer the hips back. Draw the belly in. Good, stack the two arms for the last few if you want more.
Good, one more big breath. Look down to the floor, place both hands down, step plank position. Bend your elbows, chaturanga. Pull your chest through up dog, point your toes. Downward facing dog, hips press back. Drop your forearms down right here, forearm plank, forearm, um, any variation of something on your forearms, okay? Dolphin pose, which is basically down dog on your forearms or walk out to forearm plank with your palms flat. Broaden across the upper shoulders. You can also take this with your knees down. You're still working your core and really engaging the upper, upper torso a lot. Spread the palms. Hands are about shoulder width distance. Engage the navel to the back of the spine. If you are going upside down, do your thing. Do it safely, please. I can't see you all. If not, just stay with me. If you want more, lift your right foot. Take your right knee to the outside of your right tricep. It's nowhere, nowhere getting close to it, it's just in that direction. Slide the right leg back, let the foot hover, lower it down. Left knee, left tricep, weight is forward, slide it back, let it hover, lower it down. Two more times, right knee, right tricep, slide it back, lower it down. Left knee, left tricep, slide it back, lower it down. One more time, right knee outside, slide it back, lower it down, left knee outside, Slide it back, lower it down, hold. If you're upside down, start to meet us. From here, see if you can press up onto your hands, plank position. You can do it, you're all strong. Downward facing dog, hips press back. Look in between your hands, hop your feet through. Lay down on your backs. Move your blocks with you if you know you need them. Bend the legs in half, just like this. Take your block, place it underneath your lower back or something underneath there, or clasp your hands, better yet. You can clasp your hands for bridge pose. That's ideally where you want to go. The palms can also be flat. Feet are inner width, hips, hips distance apart, inner thighs turned down and under. So block or no block, right leg's going to extend up, just the right leg. If you have a block, it's a lot easier but you can still do this. Flex the foot more. Start to lower your right leg so it matches up with your left thigh and flex the foot strongly. Keep hugging the shoulder blades together and make sure your left leg doesn't wrap out. Yes, bend the right foot down. Bridge or supported bridge. Pause. Left leg up, flex the foot. If it's too much for you, you don't do it. Just because I'm doing something, doesn't mean it works for you. Flex the foot a little more. Start to lower the left leg down so it matches up with your right thigh. Feel the upper shoulder blades come together. That's the back bend. Rebend the left leg. Take the foot to the floor. Stay here or remove the block. Lower the tailbone down. Set up for bridge, full wheel, camel pose. Any of these options right here, reverse tabletop. I want two more back bends. If you're going to full wheel, flip your palms. Bring your chin to your chest, anchor your feet onto the mat. Take a big breath in, you know, lift yourself up. Turn the thigh bones down and under, press into the mat. If you're just taking support, take support. Press a little deeper, tuck your chin, come out with control. Big breath in. Big breath out, set up for one more. We did all this work, we might as well. Flip your palms, bring your chin to your chest. Just make sure your feet don't go out super, super wide. Inhale the breath, exhale, bring yourself up. Yeah, I like what you're doing, Lucy. That's about how I feel. Lift up a little bit higher. Exhale the breath, come out slowly with control. Let your lower back hit the floor. Take your feet, everybody, to the width of your mat and let your knees knock in. Just let them knock in. Yeah. And then take the feet flat to the floor. Cross your right ankle over the top of the left thigh. Lift your left shin up so it's parallel to the ceiling. Yeah. External rotation. If you're even near a wall, you can take this left foot and press it into the wall. I'm going to slide my hands through. I'm actually going to go underneath the thigh bone and I'm gonna grab the fleshy part of my thigh. I'm gonna pull the left quadricep closer to me as I continuously flex my right foot 
and I can create this great little hip opener. Keep a strong flex of your right foot. If you want more, extend your left leg straight up. So my left leg goes straight and my right leg is extend, extending open, kind of pressing back. Soften the shoulders away from your ears and just breathe. Feel your lower back stay stationary on the floor. You straighten the left leg, rebend it, take the foot back down to the floor, right foot down. Cross the left ankle over the edge of that right thigh, lift the right thigh up, grab behind the thigh bone, create an external rotation, which means you want your left leg to move away from you. Flex the foot. Feel your right thigh draw closer to you but keep your shoulders down. Then extend your right leg straight up. It's just like a nice little add-on. Feel the lower back stay on the floor, really important. Another big breath. Straight, the leg went straight, we bend it. Take the foot back down to the floor. Lower the left foot down. So your feet are about hips width, a little bit wider. You're gonna take your legs, Hips over to the left, upper body and leg, legs are gonna go to the right. Take your top leg and your right ankle is gonna come to the top of the front of your left uh, thigh bone. So it looks like this. Move my blocks out of the way. If you have no idea what I'm doing, you're like, I can't figure out what she's doing. You're just taking a supine twist. Supine twist. Good, your arms can open. Good, you're gonna come up to center, relax both feet to the floor. I'm gonna take my legs over to the left and then my bottom foot's gonna to come to the top of my right thigh bone, kind of like ankle to knee. Arms are just gonna open. I'm gonna keep my shoulder blades down. I'm just taking a subtle twist here. Come up to center, hug both knees in, grabbing the outer edges of the feet for a happy baby. Happy baby pose. Lengthen from the crown of the head all the way through the tailbone. And then hug your knees to your chest. Give them a big squeeze in. And set yourself up for Shavasana. So Shavasana today can just be like its regular version. Or maybe you want like legs up the wall or your legs straight up with a block underneath, just to release lactic acid. So find something where you can stay still for the next minute. Legs up the wall. Let go of your ujjayi breath. Just let your body fall into the mat right now and rest. If your legs are up and you have something underneath, just start to bend your legs in half, take your feet back to the floor, remove any objects out. Just meet us in Shavasana for the next 20 seconds. Take a big breath in through the nose. A loud exhale, breath out. Reach your arms up over the top of the head. Give yourself a really big stretch. Hug your knees to your chest, a big squeeze in. And when you're ready, just come up to a seated position. Seated position. Sitting up really tall. You can keep your eyes closed. Just be in the final moments of this practice, whatever it looked like for you. No judgment, just be grateful. Bow your head, have some closure for today. Lift your head, open your eyes. Together we say namaste. From all different parts, we say namaste. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'm back at it. 
again on thursday at the same time,